Meghan Markle was shortlisted for role as Daniel Craig's next Bond girl. She gained critical acclaim for her role as Rachel Zane in the U.S. legal drama Suits. And Meghan Markle reportedly caught the eye of 007 producers while playing the paralegal last year. The 36-year-old actress was said to be shortlisted as Daniel Craig's next Bond girl but her blossoming romance with Prince Harry ruled her out of the lineup. The film source told The Sun, Meghan fits a role of a Bond girl perfectly. She's glamorous and sexy and a good actress. A role more recently has gone to actresses deemed to be rising stars, and Meghan certainly was seen as that before her relationship with Harry became public. The brief was to find a glamorous rising star specifically someone American or Canadian. According to reports, Meghan was one of five actresses narrowed down to play Craig's love interest in Bond 25, with Baywatch star Ophanish Hater, 32 also making the shortlist. However her emerging relationship with Harry hindered plans, with producers assuming she was out of the running. The source added the engagement was the final blow as the humanitarian prepared to retire from her acting career to focus on royal beauties. Harry revealed a year ago he had fallen for the actress after a four to six month secret relationship. And the 33-year-old declared his love as he popped the question to the American Beauty in London last month. Royal Protocol dictated the fifth in line to the throne Harry had to ask his grandmother the Queen for permission to marry and she agreed in the month where she celebrated her own 70th wedding anniversary. In a statement Her Majesty and Prince Philip said they were delighted for the couple and wish them every happiness following their announcement. Harry and Meghan, who divorced her first husband in 2013, will move into Nottingham Cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace next door to his brother William and Kate. The happy couple will marry on May 19 at Windsor Castle's famous St. George's Chapel. The pair have chosen to ignore royal tradition and walk down the aisle on a Saturday so more people in the UK and across the globe can watch on TV or even come to Berkshire on their wedding day. Mail Online has contacted Kensington Palace for comment.